Seneca Indians, who lived in the northeastern part of the United States, began their tribe during the 16th century. They called themselves the people of the Big Hill because they believed their ancestors emerged from a big hill. The Seneca are part of the Iroquois Confederacy. In 1784, the tribe split into two organizations, Canadian and American. Today, the Seneca are the only tribe to own a U.S. city, Salamanca. The Iroquois tribe occupied part of the West New York between Seneca Lake and Geneva River, having their council fire near Naples in Ontario County. About the middle of the 17th century, the Seneca and other Iroquois people carried their settlements westward, westward to Lake Erie and southward along the Allegheny into Pennsylvania. They soon became the largest tribe of the Confederation and one of the most important. They are now chiefly settled in, on the Allegheny, Cataraugus, and Tonawanda reservations in New York. Many of them remain under the British jurisdiction after the declaration of peace and live on the Grand River Reservation, Ontario. <laughs> the Seneca tribe owned and occupied 40,000 acres of choice land on the east side of the Sandusky River. 30,000 acres of this land was granted to them on the 29th of September in 1817 at the Treaty of the Maumee Rapids. The remaining 10,000 acres, which were south of the other, was granted by the Treaty at St. Mary's on September 17, 1818. In 1660, there were about 5,000 Seneca Indians. In 1850, there were 2,712 in New York and 2,920 in Canada. In 1909, the numbers remained similar with 2,749 in New York and 2,962 in Canada. Today, the population has raised to about 10,000 Senecas in total. Here are some of the key players in the nation's history with the United States. Black Snake, who was a chief of the Seneca Indians that lived on the reservations of the Allegheny River. He was on the English side of the Battle of the Oriskany, New York in 1777, and it's said that he participated in the Wyoming Massacre in 1789 and fought for the Americans in the Battle of Fort George in 1813. He fought for the Europeans a lot. Farmer's brother, known as Hanawanius, also a Seneca chief. He is often mentioned in the connection with Red Jacket. He signed the treaties of the Genesee in 1797 and Buffalo Creek in 1802. He supported the United States in the War of 1812 and was present in the Battle of Fort George at age 82. He also showed peace and tried to prevent his tribe from going to war. Corn Planter, also known as John O'Bale, who was a Seneca chief. He was one of the parties to the Treaty of Fort Stanwix in 1784. That is also when a large session of land was made by the Italians. He also took part in the Treaty of Fort Harmer in 1789, in which all extensive territory was conveyed to the United States. Half King, who was a Seneca chief. Red Jacket, who was a Seneca chief orator and chief of the merit class of the Wolf Clan Civil Life. His Indian name was Otetiani, meaning prepared or ready. Red Jacket was reputed to have had most tenacious memory and a quick wit, and being a ready and effective speaker, he possessed a remarkable gift for the defensive debate. Here are a few of the major events and treaties of the Seneca Nation. In 1627, the Iroquois, which included the Seneca, declared war on the Indians and the French on St. Lawrence. The Seneca made up the larger part of the war. The Treaty of Maumee Rapids said that the Seneca had to relinquish 100,000 acres in Ohio for payments and annuities of varying amounts. It also assigned land allotments. The Treaty of St. Mary's received money for the cession of the lands described in the Treaty of Maumee Rapids and negotiated to own title to the newly acquired lands. The Canandiagua Treaty of 1794 kept peace between the U.S. and many Indian nations, including the Seneca. It also established what land belonged to who. Today, a portion of the Seneca Indians remain under British jurisdiction after the Declaration of Peace and live on the Grand River Reservation in Ontario. In our opinion, the Seneca tribe wasn't significantly affected by the United States Americans. The tribe held the American ideals of equality and freedom because they never were forced to relocate. Because this tribe remained under the Constitution, they were able to acquire all the American ideals. To this day, the Seneca tribe remained in the northeastern part of the United States. 
The Seneca tribe started in the 16th century. During the 17th century, the tribe carried westward, becoming the largest tribe. In 1784, the treaty, there was the Treaty of Stanwix. In 1789, there was the Treaty of Harmer and the Treaty of Canandiagua. In 1797, there was the Treaty of Genesee. In 1817, there was the Treaty of Maumee Rapids. In 1818, there was the Treaty of St. Mary's. In 1902, there were 2,700. 741 Seneca Indians in New York and 2,962 in Canada. Today, in 2009, there were about 10,000 Seneca Indians in total.